take off. The home point has been updated, please check it on the map. You pay all these guys? They can hear this? Guys, I, what, what's up, guys? How you doing? I'm Alan with Center Consoles Only, and I'm here with Eric Castillo, and this is the teddy bear of CV Boats, one of the main sales guys, got a bit of experience, and we have the pleasure of walking through the 322Z with him here today. Thank you very much for, for spending a few minutes with us, my friend. Sure, absolutely. All right. So tell us a little bit about yourself. How long have you been with CV now? I've been with CV uh, 15 years now. Very good. So uh, plenty of experience on the product. I've personally owned a CV since 2000. So I've been uh -huh. here since the, pretty much since the owners got the company and been seeing the whole process be developed. Yep. I remember seeing Eric way back uh, when my family uh, owned a couple of CVs. My father, um, consider him somewhat of a friend, I would say. Absolutely. Can we call it that? Yeah. So uh, back in the in the day when the 34 came out, it was you know mind blowing for some of us that were used to seeing a 31 as a big boat. And they came out with their 34, 340B, and now you know they got into the Z line. Tell us a little bit. We haven't gotten into the step tall, if we can, um, and what made you guys make that jump from the uh, traditional V bottom. I mean, you know, being around CV for a long time, they've always tried to push the envelope. They've never wanted to be a company that doesn't change with the times. Uh, we felt that with uh, we had the proper technology where we can actually design a step hall where we can eliminate a lot of the inherent issues that step halls have to currently have, which is sliding down waves, uh, 
basically you're not able to go at slow speed, losing visibility at slow speeds. Uh, we're able to turn at high speeds and the boat won't slide out on you. So we basically perfected the step haul, in our opinion, where you're basically as safe as a traditional haul, but you're also getting the fuel economy of the step. The benefits. Very nice. You guys definitely have done an excellent job. And this 322 is basically the younger brother to the 370 in regards to its interior layout. They have a few things towards the uh, cockpit transom area, which we'll get to. But what are the configuration options up here? We see this one has a coffin box, uh, which is very nice. Got two fish boxes either either side, and I imagine this can be lifted up with oh, an actuator absolutely. of some sort. You know, the nice thing about all our boats are very consistent from one model to the next. They're all going to have the same, basically, two raw lockers, a big fish box, and another compartment which could serve as a live well, a fish box, or just storage. So that's kind of like the same through all our models, be it the 45, 39, 37, 34, mm -hmm. 32, 29. They all have the same interior deck layout. Uh, mm -hmm. This particular model, we offer it with a couple different seating arrangements, one being a coffin box that we could put a backrest on here if, if you like. Okay. Uh, we also offer forward seating as an option on this boat, or you can have an all open deck if you like. So it comes standard all open, and you could add the coffin box as an option, or you could add the forward uh, LD loungers in the front. Very nice. Let's take a look in here real quick. So you nice got a uh, four foot coffin box. It's made by CV, it's fully insulated. Uh, we have a divider in there, so you could actually store clean ice on one side and have your bait on the opposite side, or you know, cold drinks and food on the other side. So it's nice. Some guys use it for storage. So you have a little bit of flexibility with this. Very What's nice. nice, you still get access to the box below. There's a ram that'll basically tilt the box up where you can get access to your fish box. Very nice. And it's a massive fish box at that. Yeah. And it's set up so it drains overboard. So okay. it doesn't go into the bilge. So it goes straight overboard from the box. Very nice. Well, you got kind of get best of both worlds here. All that space for storage underneath, and then you know additional. Or you can use either one as a fish box, right. I imagine. But another nice feature: these rod lockers on the side. You know, guys that go to the Bahamas or they go to places where they want to stay overnight, you could actually uh, you have rod twos where you can lay a you know seven eight foot rod down below, lock them up, so you don't have to drag them to and from your hotel room, which is nice. Yeah, very nice. Just like all our boats, you have console with the sliding door. So you have plenty of storage. You know, you could actually, as an option, put a head in it. So with CV, you know, the choice is yours. You could set up the boat however you want with as little or as little, as many or as little options as you like. Yeah. Oh, it's nice that this slides sideways. It doesn't impede in the view of the captain. Uh, we've seen those traditional ones that lift up, and I believe CV back in the day was was doing that same thing. So integrating this new technology is very nice. Keeps things streamlined. Great access to your electronics, your rigging back there. If you need to get to it, you have great storage and, and a head compartment also. And just the same as all CB boats, the finish is impeccable. It's really tough to beat. You know, the rod capability that you have, you really can put rod storage anywhere you want on this boat either tucked away or along the gunnels, along the console. They gave it that little 15-degree drop, which I believe that's what it is, just so you don't get water storage there. keeps things nice and clean. So they do a great job in everything they do. The upholstery is fantastic. I mean, the, you know, the, whole, the whole boat is, is beautiful. And this one in particular, as we make our way back, I guess you have anything else you want to touch on here? We see JL Audio speakers yeah. throughout. JL Audio, you have, obviously, we sell three different style of hardtops on this particular model. You have the Key West, which is what you see here. We offer a rectangular hardtop with the rod slots, and you could also have uh, an oversized hardtop, which is more what our luxury customers are getting, which gives you a little bit more shade more for the aft of the boat. Okay. And the Key West top is, is the basic functionality to give you Great access, access, to, access your to your rods, rods. Versus, versus having to worry about trying to fish the rod through a slot. Right. You're able to grab a rod, pitch it at a fish, which is great. Gives you a great fishability. Gives you the ability to also put eight, nine foot gaffs or, and put right. more rods on the side of your console. So you can have longer rods and they're easier, easily access, accessible. All right. This one in particular, 
got Simrad Electronics. Yep. So you guys do Simrad quite a bit? We what, do what Simrad, you? Garmin, Raymarine, uh, Furuno. So with us, you know, the choice, you know, the customer has a choice to put whatever product he, that they like. Uh, in the sense that, you know, it's the choice. It's up to the customer to decide what he wants to put in his boats. We'll basically yeah. give them all the pros and cons and uh, and try to guide them in the in the direction where we feel that, you know, he's going to get the best use out of it. You know, if it's a gentleman. Depending on what he's doing. Yeah, well, depending on what he's doing. I mean, Simran makes a great product. They got mm -hmm. great transducers. The Halo Radar is a great product. Uh, with Furuno, they have great, great uh bottom machines and radars also, and their interface has gone, come a long way. It's very user-friendly now. So they're, they're getting a lot of bang for their buck, for sure. Yeah. And this is always nice, having this lockable compartment where you can, you know, store some stuff here, pop this open to clean right. it up easily. Right. Put your cell phone behind there. They're not, they're, you know, I have a lot of customers ask me, oh, I like it all open without the Plexi, but what's nice about the Plexi on a rough day or or when you're washing the boat, you're not going to get a lot of water in your console right. and spraying your screens and stuff like that. So it keeps your electronics, your cell phone, all that dry in rough sea conditions. Yep. Right. And you have plenty of room to put two 16-inch screens, which is nice. Uh, and plenty of dash space to put all your remotes and joysticks and pretty much anything you want out there. If you want a 7-inch, uh, if you want to do a 7-inch vessel view, we have plenty of room for that. Um, so you can have a lot of options. We use basically, you know, whether it's Mercury, Yamaha, Suzuki, we do all the different motor okay. configurations. Yeah. Well, it's always a, you know, great thing about CV also, like we keep repeating ourselves, but one thing they do extremely well is just customize, you know, these boats are not set up at dealerships and sold in bulk. They're built to order right. specifically to each individual, exactly how they want it from color to every step of the way, you know, they dissect it and lay it out to fit that customer specifically. So, you know, just like this one has a custom, I guess a black Edson wheel map, black Optimus 360 joystick. Yeah. Whole know, positioning, everything. Gray cool. powder coating to kind of match the detail in the boat. Um, absolutely beautiful. And then got your rocker switches tucked away out of the way, protected by another piece of plexi, giving you that visibility. So you can see what you're looking at, but you're not going to give it a knee. Um, or dump a ton of water on it's kind of protected under there absolutely so what's also nice is you got plenty of storage underneath the seat so whether you have tackle and you can put it underneath the seat whether you're fishing whether you're trolling you can get to your tackle boxes very easily here or epurp or whatever what's nice to have mm -hmm. actually all that extra storage below the seat yeah Nice retractable armrest. How many configurations of leaning posts do you guys have for for this model? We we basically have two. So this is what we call our captain's edition tackle station. So you're able to uh, have this set up, or you can go with a pair of captain's chairs here, which is kind of like a LeBrock chair, and mm -hmm. but you will lose the the, seat, the storage underneath the seat. So okay. this uh, basically it's up to the customer. I think with this kind of configuration, you can sit three people versus two. The Brock style chairs, you're going right. to be limited to two uh, passengers only on this particular seat. Yep. I have a two year old daughter. I can see her sandwiched in, in between my wife and I right there. So yeah. it's comfortable to have kids, keep them protected. You know, they got a little fly storage out. back here. You can put your knives, a little rigging station. So why, if you want to turn some wire or put some lures in there, it works out greater. Like the hooker, gloves, plano boxes, just like all our other boats, is very consistent from one boat to the next. Mm hmm. The, slide, storage. the sliding cooler slides out, plenty of storage. So this is a 170 core frigid rigid cooler, which is very nice. Holds yeah. ice extremely well. A lot of space in that You cooler. could leave it in the open position while you're fishing or running. So it's very stable. So you can use it as a chair if you're running, if it's nice and calm. You also have a great option on this door is a side door on a 37-foot boat. And it swings right out, which is a great option with the pull-out ladder, which is nice. Extremely comfortable. Yeah, either so, getting in and out of the dock or doing some diving or just being at the sandbar, that makes it a ton easier to get in and out of the boat compared to jumping over the transom, which what a lot of us have been used keep to. Keep the kids away from the props. It's always nice. Another good point. You got that? Uh, I'll try to loop it over here. See if my biceps still got, still got it. All right. Very good. So you have bucket store storage on either side, which is nice. So you can put a five-gallon bucket there, throw your cast nice. net in there, your soap bucket, which is nice. 
That's a great idea to make that little cutout to keep that bucket in place and not just, you know, flopping all over the boat while you're running around. A little deeper. Yeah. Then on this compartment, it's, it's plumbed for, it could be an insulated fish box. It could be a live well. It could just be storage. You can see the, the distance here inside the compartment. You can see it sticks out a little bit. That's actually about two inches of insulation foam that we put inside the boat. Oh, wow. So it holds ice better. Okay. So this is a cooler in this in this boat specifically. Uh, yes, insulated this is an insulated cooler. So it's a fish box fish that pumps box. out overboard, which is nice. Uh, same thing on this side. And if you want, we could take this bench seat out so we could check that out too. If we you, can give that a shot. We haven't done that. Just yet lift today. that up. Hold the leg. Okay. So this is the nice thing about this seat. It's going in or out towards you. Okay. Lay it down. If you just push your finger here, lift it up right here. And just pull, pull. So the seat oh, nice. comes out. If you want, we just pull it back. It'll go around in. Yeah, we'll just lay it right here for right now. So here, what's great is you have great access to wow. your bilge. That's so a you serious have a, bilge. So you have a sea chest. Every boat comes standard with two float switches uh, with uh, 1600 rule pumps. You also have a high water alarm. None of the, the fish boxes drain into the bilge. They all go overboard. With the sea chest gives the, uh, basically the advantage to the sea chest, be it that a step hull, you introduce a lot of air on the bottom of the hull, so you're able to vent the box, get clean water in the box where the pumps could pump it into your live wells. Very nice. Heck of a setup on this on that bilge. Absolutely. Then you have two other storage compartments on either side. So you could put some boat soap, stuff like that. What's nice, if you pull that out, what's nice about that compartment, so on our boats, you have a valve in there. That seacock that you see there is basically designed to pressurize the live well on the, on the port side. And on this side, I'll have the same thing. And then you also have your saltwater washdown pump in there. So you have great access to those items. So okay. on the maintenance side, it's great because everything is very accessible. Sometimes boat builders will put things where you need to be a, a miniature person to get in there with <laughs> really small hands and small arms to get in there because if not, you can't get to them. But the nice yeah. thing about our boats, we put a lot of thought into making sure that on the maintenance side, you know, it's anybody can go in there and swap out a pump or reach a valve. And one of the things that we do as sales guys, when we go over the boat, we show the customers where every valve is and how to get to it and how to maintain the valves and basically how to use every option on the boat properly and know where very you know important. how to do things on the boat. Yeah. Well, in this space, normally a lot of boats is not utilized for anything, as you notice. Right. So it seems like you got a little extra space. Yeah. To get to that seacock, you got the access, and then you have that pull out. Right. Pull out where you can store. Where... Yeah, you can put your boat soap in there. Put your 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 squeegees, your chamois, all that stuff in there. And then back here, awesome. you have your your Mercury K-plane uh, trim tab pumps, and then you have your Optimus uh, hydraulic pumps. So everything is extremely accessible. So on the maintenance side, again, it's very easy to get to. That's, that's, that's excellent. Over there, you see that's uh, an actual uh, above deck inlet that if this gentleman happens to catch bait who owns this boat, he could put a 100 gallon above deck, basically tie in there with a quick connect, have oh, a 100 gallon above deck live well. Oh, very nice. In this model in particular, the 322, like the 370, has the live wells on the split corners, which actually provides a bigger cockpit room, which is extremely nice. So you basically are able to get closer to the back of the boat where you can actually get around the engines with your fishing rods. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a definite advantage uh, that you're able to carry two different baits. The, de the live wells are above deck, so you don't necessarily have to worry about uh, somebody falling into a four live well. Yeah. You know, that so, also gives you this huge yeah, bench down the down Absolutely. The middle. You could put three to four people across the back of the boat, which is, tends to be the best ride on the boat, which is always great. Yeah. And this yep. one is paired with Mercury? 400s. Twin 400s? Yes, sir. Have any idea the performance on? Well, it's going to do about 65 miles an hour, roughly around uh, cruising speed in the in the mid-40s, doing about 1.3, one 1.4, three, one right okay. around there. Very nice. Very nice. Definitely a beautiful boat. Let's see. What else have we gotten into? Well, see, so you have this pod, which you have also uh, on your other models, which is nice if you do the sandbar thing. Yeah. Being able to get some of that sound Put out. Put the sound, push it out into the push water, it out. stuff like that. So if you're standing along the boat, 
in the same bar. It actually is a great feature. Okay. All right, very nice. I think we've gotten through most of it. Guys, do we have any questions back there? Not hearing anyone. Well, Eric, thank you very much. All right. I think we've gotten, I mean, unless you can think of anything else, we've got no, some good. gap holders underneath the gunnels there, which are nice. I mean, with any of our boats, any kind of accessories. A bunch of questions. So if customers have any accessory options they want to put on the boat, you know, we can do it. I mean, you basically, uh, there's nothing we won't say no to, you know, as long as we're not reinventing the wheel, but in the sense of right. options, a uh, different vendor, whether it's a steering wheel or rot outriggers or lighting or, you know, we're pretty much open to making the boat as custom for the customer yeah. as possible. Yeah. Great thing about CV is, uh, is exactly that. And I think you guys kill it in that department, obviously, and why you have the clientele you do and yeah. the reputation you do and, uh, keep up the good work real quick. I think, guys, we said we had some questions. I assume you're able to do a, a live well up in the, uh, in the bow area? Yes. In deck? Yeah, I think uh, this boat does have one. If you look down there, this boat currently has a live well in the forward, on okay. the forward deck, so it's currently set up for it. There it is. So this one? So whether you want an acrylic lid or a fiberglass lid, I prefer the fiberglass lid because they look better over time versus the acrylic lid. They'll tend to get discolored over time and lose their non-skid. Yep, that's a big live well as well. How many gallons? That's 50 gallons. I'm sorry, 50? 50, yeah. yeah. Very nice, it's huge. Okay, what else we got, guys? Can you do the V-shaped piping? Not, I'm not sure I'm understanding that. You mean like the oval piping on the on the piping of the hardtop? Do you guys do oval piping instead of the round piping? If that's if that's something the owner wants to do, have you ever done? I mean, uh, the nice thing with our boats, you don't necessarily have to buy our pipe work. You could actually, you know, have your vendor build whatever kind of pipe work you want. Okay, easy enough. Yeah, I don't think I've seen one with uh, with anything beyond this. These guys do a great job. Uh, with with their product and their design but just like anything else if you want to create something like this outside with your own vendor you're more than welcome to do so so what else more questions yes eric eric mentioned that you they do besides mercury work with suzuki the yamaha, yamaha on, so basically anything you know whichever motor they want i mean if the boat's going overseas they could buy the boat without motors if they that way they can you know, oh, have yeah. a relationship with the, the with their engine dealer in their island or country, so they can get better service. So you can buy the boat without motors, without a hard top, and, kind of and do, do that on your own. So, okay. so the nice thing is, you don't have to buy the electronics from us. That's up to you. So, you know, if you want to have a relationship, let's say you're in in California and you you're, you have a, someone that can supply you with electronics to make sure you get service there, you can do that too. You know, with us on the service end of it, what we do is. Um, you know, even though you might be somewhere else in the United States, what we would ask the customer is who does the service? Who do you recommend in your area mm -hmm. to work on your boat? So that's who we, we would hire to work on your boat. And then okay. basically we would ship them the parts. So uh, we would pay their hourly rate and, and we go from there. So we have a service department that's uh, 20,000 square feet with uh, probably a 20 person staff over there where they basically coordinate a service throughout all South Florida, all of Florida, all over the United States. So in the, in the Florida area, we have a mobile service uh, in the Tampa area and the Palm Beach area and the Keys. And then, you know, we basically work with vendors throughout the country that we've established relationships from customers who have worked with those people that they recommend us to. So mm. we start building our clientele of vendors that we you know use on customers boats depending whether it's in texas louisiana north carolina new york new jersey rhode island so we basically have boats all over the country and that's who you know our customers are our biggest advocates to hey yeah. can you use my mechanic he's great oh absolutely yeah so it makes sense to work with cv on most of this stuff anyway because you're gonna you're gonna help take care of their problems no, they're, they're in good hands no absolutely and if you got a great mechanic and stuff like that that's perfect so yeah. we know who to call okay all right very good anything else guys Do you guys offer a glass enclosure on these models instead of the ice and glass or polycarbonate? This is polycarbonate. I mean, we could do a windshield. I mean, like I said, uh, those are options. If a customer wants a windshield, we might 
have to do some type of enclosure because it does it'll have to attach to a hard top a certain way right but definitely if they want a windshield we can offer a windshield okay have you done any of these smaller ones with a windshield i don't know if i've seen um we've done a couple of boats with windshields you know uh windshield you know one of the advantages of the polycarbonate um and so the reason some of the guys like windshields is basically because they're so clear and they don't get distorted like the eyes in the like glass does. Yeah. What they're going to notice with this polycarbonate that's been around for probably about 15 years, maybe not 15, maybe about probably uh, 13 years. It's crystal clear. I've seen boats that are mm -hmm. 10 years old that look just like a brand new boat. Yeah. Uh, if you properly maintain it and basically by me, by properly maintain it is, hey, don't put any harsh chemicals on it. Chamois it dry and you're done. Rinse mm -hmm. it with water, some mild soap done yeah definitely a great material you can see right through this it looks yeah, like it looks be, like a glass material it looks like a glass material it's lightweight and uh it's very clear and, and it provides better coverage in my opinion but uh but like i said hey you know we're you know we can build it their way whatever they want to do we can do it okay all right guys anything else last question base price in the 322 Base price, I, I can say this boat, the way it's kind of like configured, you're going to be kind of like around that 330 range. 330 range? You know what I mean? The nice like thing is... Like this one is like this. Or... Uh, uh, I mean, like without electronics, you're, I mean, it, it's hard because every boat's a little bit different. One boat has a coffin box. So whoever yeah. asked that question, they're more welcome to send me an email, eric at cvboats.com, E-R-I-C, uh, cvboats.com, okay. and I'll be more than happy to send them a price list and we can configure the boat specifically to fit their needs. Okay. Guys, go ahead and put Eric's email in the comment section there as well. If you have any questions, send them over to him. He's the pro. He can answer anything you want. And if you're looking for a boat like this, definitely uh, worth the effort to come see one in person. Take a sea trial if you can. They we try to do a factory, factory tours, you know. They have one of the nicest factories you'll ever see. Definitely, definitely something to see if you haven't already. So, Eric, thank you again no, for your you time, my friend. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Always a pleasure. Now, next, stand by for, I believe it's uh, 5 o'clock. We're going to end things off with the 340Z. So hope to see you guys there.